Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial for getting some train height maps into Unity. There are some prerequisites to this. You will need to have your Unity account and the Unity environment set up, as well as you will need to uh, create your own uh, account on equator.com. Once you have your prerequisites done for the accounts, we're gonna come up to here to the search bar and go to, I'm gonna do New York, because the first thing that comes to mind, hit enter to search for that. I'll get a search result for New York, and clicking on that will zoom me right in. Now, for example purposes, I'm gonna show you that when you bring up the site builder, a bunch of grayed out boxes will show up. These are your different data sets that you can pull from. For this, let's just click on this one here, and it's a LiDAR point cloud for New York City. If I want, I can view that, and it'll load it into my environment here. We're gonna zoom in over here, and we're gonna see this little spot right here with a bunch of bumps and whatnot. It's gonna be hard to see when you get up close, but there is a bunch of structures or whatever might be here. I'm sitting at 200 meters per block, so I'm gonna edit the site bounds. And I'm gonna say, if this is 200 meters, I'm gonna to try to keep it uh, relatively square. That being 200 meters, we're gonna go about 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000 ish. So we're gonna take 1,000 by, uh, oh, oh, 1,000 by 1,000 square, uh, if you call that a square. So now we have our bounds set, and this is the area we'll be pulling our data from. After we've defined our bounds, we are going to come over here, and we're gonna scroll all the way down to our height map section. So we want a height map data, and we want that height map as a raw data. I'm gonna set it as one, and that's just the scale of the file itself. And this will be emailed to you after the processing has completed, which will display up here. Once you get your download from the Ecuador website, you'll get this randomly named file in a .raw format. Uh, .raw is what Unity understands to actually import this terrain. Now we're gonna go over to the Unity side of things. So we're going to create a new project. It's gonna be a 3D project, and I'm just gonna call it terrain. And once that finishes creating, we'll go on to the next step. Now that our Unity project has finished um, being created, we're gonna take our raw file and we're gonna drag it over into the Unity Editor Assets folder. So once we have that, we can come up to here and we can create a new terrain object. So this train is what is going to have our bumpy data from Ecuador. We can come over to the train here. And if we see over here, there's a bunch of these options on the right side under the terrain uh, component. We'll open up the settings, train settings, and we'll skip past all this and kind of just come over to the import raw. So we want to import the raw that we got from earlier. Now, the X and the Z are the length and the width of the actual object, of the actual like raw file. And the Y is the height. So I tried to hit a thousand as close as I could on files so on the file so it should be ru uh, roughly uh, accurate the height you'll have to mess with a bit to see what you can get so if it, I import that we'll get this uh, quite interesting terrain file so I think 600 for oh you can see the rows there 600 was possibly a bit too much so we'll come down to here and we can see the terrain height here we're gonna bring the train height down to 100. Let's try that. Oh, uh, it's not perfect, but you know, it's bumpy. It works. It looks cool. 
So this data itself could be used for a map or a kind of play bed for creating your world or your level. I'm just going to demonstrate the or demonstrate an application of that using this this free asset for just low poly playable vehicles. So if you want to follow along, the the URL's up here, but it's also in the description as well. You just want to add this to your assets. And then you'll come over here to window and you'll go to your package package manager. Uh, once this fetches your packages, you'll want to go into My Assets. When you're in My Assets, you can search Low Poly Playable Vehicles or any version of it that'll make this come up. And then you can actually import the Low Poly Vehicles into the project. Now these are pre-built, just kind of work when you drop them in. So we'll wait for those to load in. Now that those are loaded in, we can come over here to the content of that uh, low poly vehicles. Let's go over to the prefabs and let's choose the utility vehicle. And we're just gonna go over to this hill over here. Uh, we're gonna utility vehicle. And we're gonna bring that up a little bit just so it doesn't crash and burn immediately. So if we hit play here, we'll see we have this vehicle that we can drive around with. So you can explore your little world you've got and do some funky things if you want to race around the world. I'll just crash and burn instead. But that's how you get terrain into Unity. And it has a bunch of different uses, not only prototyping, but actually creating a world. But with this, you should be able to get basic terrain files and you can fine tune exactly what you get into Unity from the Equator website and you can download a bunch of different raw terrain files and figure out what exactly you want to make with uh, the world you get. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it helpful in some way and I hope it uh, helps you understand how Unity can interact with terrain in the real world. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.